stereotypes and the tropes that one can fall in when doing a character of color. I did this strip about being left-handed in a right society, how the right man is trying to impress the lefty. And by the end of it, I got lefties holding their hands up going, you know, righty must pay, righty better watch his back. I just did a play on all of the sort of oppressive stuff <laughs> that um, sort of happened to blacks. When I started writing it, I didn't realize how similar it really is because left in Latin is sinis, and sinis is the basis for sinister. And so they used to think that left-handed people were evil. And that totally plays into the idea that black is bad, black is evil. What Keith is doing by using humor to address these serious issues is he is writing a different kind of a narrative about how serious issues need to be treated. He's got a way of taking global issues and finding a human point of view. From a very distinctly sick perspective, putting these two identities together and presenting it to people kind of in a confrontational way, sort of, you know, catch them off guard on the street, what do you think? And I love that aspect because it provokes conversation, it provokes um, thought. The intensity of what he does and the diversity in terms of how he does it by donning a Captain America costume creates moments of insight. I love where it goes beyond just the comic strip because there are times when I write something and it's like, oh, this doesn't work as a comic strip. This works as something else. He's getting up off his couch and he's talking with people. He's letting people know that he's a three-dimensional person, that he's a real person, that he's a human being. Put the costume on, grab the shield, and uh, make the change yourself. The first comic that I developed was called Santa vs. Aliens, and it's the story of a young boy who saves Christmas from an alien attack. In that story, you see the relationship between this young boy, Jericho Jones, and his mother, America Jones. I was really exploring the way that a single mom struggles to sort of be everything that her child needs with whatever resources that she has. When I started Super Sick, I really didn't know anything about Six or the background of this character. And what was originally interesting to me was the difference and what a great opportunity it was to bring this unique character forward that we hadn't seen before. pictures of sick Captain America and I was just blown away because I felt so validated. In Super Sick you'll see that the hero Deep Saint immediately has some different characteristics from the traditional superhero. I mean obviously he is a person with brown skin who wears a turban, has a beard, and so immediately uh, there's a visual difference. And then as you get to know him in the story you'll see there's some other differences from maybe a classic superhero where he doesn't have a cape and a special costume and he doesn't use